boom, bada boom. All right, all right, all right. Hello, hello, hello. Welcome back, everybody, to the Slice of Shonen podcast. I am your host on the boat, Sailor. And uh, I don't know how long the pod is going to be this week. It may just be a shorter one, but, you know, lately when we say that, it ends up being a pretty long one. So we'll wait and see. Type shit, type shit. But anyway, of course, thank you for listening in, whether you're listening uh, live or after the fact. We appreciate you all the same. Uh, this week, we got three chapters on the docket, and like I said, we'll see how long this week's podcast is, you know, we'll wait and see. But of course, it's not just me here in this council. I have brought my ensemble of excellence along with me. Let me go through the list right now. We have the Adam, aka Jigga, whose channel is linked down below in the description. Make sure you guys go check that out. Uh, make sure to tell all your friends to do the same. Then we have the Silver, who unfortunately forgot his mic today, so it's okay. We're, we're just going to have to, you know, deal with it. But then we have the yeah, sorry. me. <laughs> hey, how's it going? And of course, the Zenith Annie Manga, whose channel and Patreon are also linked down below in the description. Check those out. Make sure to tell all your friends about it, man. We appreciate it. Of course, uh, I, I thought I had something else for housekeeping, but I don't think I do. Uh, fellas, is there anything else you'd like to say to the people before we get started? I look at some of these comments and all that. Um, uh, well, let's see. I guess I, the only thing I probably would have to say is, like, I'm not sure if anyone noticed this morning, but we do have a new series out on Viz. Is made by the same guy who, who wrote Tokyo Revengers. So just putting that one out there. Oh yeah, yeah. Chapter, everyone already hates. Got it. Yeah, it's uh, <laughs> it's a yeah because Tokyo Revengers ending sucks. Okay, well look, I know the end. I know the ending sucks. I mean, I didn't read it personally, so I don't know. Oh, how badly it sucked, but I can assume it was very bad. But even so, oh, I still like this first chapter. Well, so, right. Silver, no. Silver, let's put it like this. The moment, like, the Tokyo Revengers mm -hmm. anime came out, everyone pretended to be an expert about it. The moment that ending came out, everyone fucking dipped from the face of the planet of being a Tokyo Revengers fan. Yeah. It was, right. uh, it was rough. I have never, like, I think that might be, like, the worst received ending that I have seen personally. I, I'm in the same camp, Silver. I don't know anything about Tokyo Revengers. I've never gone through the series. But I like even with a story like, for example, AOT, there are still a ton of people who defend that. I have literally yeah. not seen a <laughs> single soul defend Tokyo Revengers ending. It That's must be true. rough, dude. <laughs> Yeah, man, it's it's bad. <laughs> yeah, I, oof, yeah, I uh, I am sorry to you, Zenith, because I know um, you you suffered through it. It was um, me and Sky were the ones reading that series oh. on the server. Um, and we we were here's the thing: the final arc had some rough points. It had some really good ideas that we wanted to be executed well. You know how that turned out. Um, <laughs> Yeah, it's 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 rough, man. It's rough. It's um, never let him cook again. You know, they <laughs> they gave this man an oven for some reason. You know, they should have taken it away, <laughs> but he has it still. He's still cooking. Uh, I mean, hold on. Oh, uh, maybe he's refined the recipe a bit. Like maybe uh, he learned from this mistake. No, my favorite thing different. that. My favorite thing that people say about, like, the way that... I'm assuming it's obviously the protagonist of the new series. People just say, like, I've never seen someone with no fucking aura Damn. ever in my entire life. And this is it. <laughs> Wasn't the main character of Tokyo Revengers? Didn't he have, like, zero aura, too? Sure. He had moments where he was pretty cool, to be okay. honest. But, yeah, that is, like, the point is he was, like... The punching bag, I, right? Kind of like, a punching yeah, could Tokyo bag. Revengers yeah. fans be like, man, the main character getting beat up is like the coolest thing ever. <laughs> and you know what? It kind of was, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Cool Shouts sometimes. out. Hey, know, yeah. Hey, Shouts out. Hey, I respect it. Um, But yeah, bad ending. Anyway, let's move on to uh things we'd like to talk about. Woohoo. I wouldn't say that. Oh, boy. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, let me look through these comments and then we can get started. Oh, yeah. Uh, twice saying props to the thumbnail. Love the green and purple colors. Thank you. It was a bitch to crop out 
everything. It, it was mainly just a bitch to crop out the stuff, like the strings and stuff for Aizawa, but I'm happy with how it turned out. Uh, right. Let me see. Purple and green thumbnail. Does this mean the maximum technique lime green is here? Gojo returns on a week without a JJK <laughs> chapter? I knew it, Sailor. You're one of us Gojo truthers. That is so now, true. Th that's just actually what they sound like, though. <laughs> 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 like, it is... uh, he's not wrong. 1% <laughs> remember... faith, 99% cope. <laughs> I remember when the, you know, the, the, drawing of gojo for the new volume came out it's like oh my god that's him waking up he's waking up yeah <laughs> <laughs> it was so funny too because like i didn't even think about that i was like oh that's probably gojo's reaction before world slash right and then yeah. i just one reasonable would assume that yeah and then it was just a flood of people like we're so back <laughs> <laughs> I was like, oh shit! Hey, I respect I it. I think man. in the same volume, it was something my friend showed me, where it's like Akutami drew Gojo's Gojo's brain, brain like, yeah, yeah, mm. where it was like hemorrhaging and everything like that, and it's just like, god damn. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I feel like that. I don't know if it's just Gojo's brain because Sakuna's brain was fucked up too. Yeah, no. I immediately asked, like, well, did he draw yeah. Sakuna's brain? It's just like, probably not. That yeah, could of course, be both of their <laughs> brains, honestly. <laughs> like, yeah. like both of their like a representation for both of their brains in that fight because god damn yeah it was it was rough um i do like the little chibi drawings we got in that volume too those were cute um also die akutami for teasing us with the stuff that happened in the month time skip i'm pissed i'm pissed <laughs> how dare you gosh but anyway i love you sweetheart keep up the good work anyway let's read the rest of these uh comments can't wait for the next chain soldier chapter need that tenka screen time and var var reward asap um yeah i'm trying to figure out what the fuck is going on with tenka uh tenka has been acting a little uh a little sus you know so we got to figure out what the fuck is going on with her uh var var stuff was cool though i like her she's very nice uh sup y'all hello kaneki uh hello bachi bros and others says sword saint hello uh i hate zenith say i've seen better thumbnails bro you're supposed to hate zenith not me what the hell that's what i'm saying like I oh i never put my emoji one. in the chat <laughs> what the hell damn bro why are you hating on me kaneki saying sup i lost eight pounds on my diet congratulations bro that's fucking huge good job i'm proud of you uh let me see the, some more of these eight pounds is fucking crazy dude seriously congratulations that's yeah. really fucking good oh, yeah, man. <laughs> that's, that's really awesome. good man keep that shit up uh let me see uh there's a divisive ending like aot there and there's a universally hated ending like tokyo revengers <laughs> damn bro yeah truly no one gave a fuck about that one man damn uh hardy hologram saying watch the kaiju number eight anime I really liked it, but I feel like it falls into the MHA category where the manga art is too good and the animation can't do it justice. Damn. I definitely agree with that. I've seen the first yeah. episode too, and I definitely agree with Hardy. It's Hardy there. <laughs> true, true. Uh, like, it wasn't bad, but it felt like there was something missing, especially with like the human characters. I don't know. The true. kaiju were fine though. Oh, well, but... the yeah, I mean, it's just it's how it is, man. It ain't always gonna match the manga true uh, i know bones is fucking kicking and screaming seeing horikoshi's art in this arc <laughs> they're like man what the fuck <laughs> <laughs> fuck what the fuck yeah, man? yeah hell no i'd be pissed i ain't gonna lie all right let me read, the, read these last ones then we can get into mha uh, Weary Exile saying, damn, worst ending, then AOT. Uh, worst ending, is it AOT or Game of Thrones ending? Or no, let me see. Worst ending, then AOT or Game of Thrones endings. The only thing worse will probably be JJK ending or One Piece fall off. Damn, you were talking about damn. other niggas hating. <laughs> damn, you're talking about other people hating. God damn, God damn. <laughs> uh hardy hologram saying nah i still think aot is the pinnacle of dog ass endings hey we here hardy we we locked in twin well, on the same I way think, <laughs> i don't think it'd be i wouldn't call it the pinnacle of them but it is the most impressive dog ass ending and mainly huh. just simply due to the fact that it all happened in just one chapter what's like, that the takes what's the pinnacle for you oh that's a tough one <laughs> worst ending i mean I've, 
you have to get back on that one. Yeah, I'll, yeah let me read Starburst through the rest. Is, and then... That shit was so stupid. <laughs> <laughs> Let me read through these and then you can just say your answer, whatever you think of it. Uh, Wet Napkin yeah. saying, I think Kagura Bachi has replaced Chainsaw Man for my most anticipated manga of the week. Mm. Mm. Adam dropped an emoji. So there you go. Now you have no excuse to not click on that and see his channel. You should do that. Uh, Flame saying, Yay! I also say, Yay! And then uh, Weary Exile saying Tenka infiltrated the Onmyo agency and passed the message to Kyoka. Yeah, yeah. I'm, I'm trying to figure out like what the fuck she saw down there because even Rand is just like, what is her deal, bro? What the fuck is really going on? But I'm, I'm hoping we figure that out in like a chapter or two. I'm, I'm hoping she's all good. But anyway, let's talk about our first chapter on the docket. My Hero Academia, chapter 420. Heh. <laughs> Fellas, how are you feeling about this one? Um, I will say, um, I remember seeing the leaks for this chapter come out, right? I remember, like, looking at that and like, all right, I I liked last chapter a lot more than a lot of people. So I'm really curious to see how this stuff gets resolved, where this is going to go. And, like, I saw the leaks and I was like, man, this is dog shit. Bam. Um, <laughs> I like it more with the chapter like actually reading the chapter um but just because i actually get you know there's some breathing room for a lot of the moments there's still a lot of stuff i i'm not a fan of damn uh, or that i find straight up questionable damn but i do like it more than when it was just listed out to me as a plot summary <laughs> so you know that's that's something yeah but when i uh because, you know, I immediately heard, like, oh, this chapter's going to be dog water. And it's like, well, it can't be that bad. And I got one of those, uh, like, fake leaks that everyone's been doing nowadays and stuff like that. Oh, and the, yeah. one I, the one I saw was, like, oh, what was it? Like, overhaul and airy, like, being teleported yeah, to the yeah. or something. I was that's like, the fake leak. Yeah. yeah, I was like, that can't be real. <laughs> and if it somehow is, it's like, hmm. <laughs> yeah. Why? Just why? Bro, what's the problem? Because it's fun. It's for the meme, bro. Mm. Have you never I done something there. for the bit? <laughs> yeah. Can you believe it? Like, <laughs> no one literally on the internet would go on the internet and lie. What's the point of that? So true. So true. I recently saw oh. that same guy. He started um, testing out if he can replicate Chainsaw Man's art style. So oh, that's shit. Be <laughs> that's going to be fucking funny. Yeah. Um, uh, I'll bro, be... he could probably get away with it, too. <laughs> uh shit with how much people have been hating on chainsaw man recently if he makes leaks they're gonna tell fujimoto to never cook again bro <laughs> i'm like this guy makes way better stuff than you but hey that's the internet i guess uh I'll, I'll be honest i don't really have much to say about this chapter i don't feel like positive or negative about it i just thought it was fine i mean i got my momo yao crumbs i'm very happy about that she's cool i hope she does some more cool shit um i like the panel where it was zoomed in on aizawa's eye where he was like phase three commence and then they did the marvel reference you know yeah as if phase three wasn't enough we we did another marvel reference they they did the marvel thing in that they did in phase three of the mcu Mm. Oh, you're right i never thought about that and this uh, is you know phase yeah. three this is yeah. phase three yeah um i will say i fell to my fucking knees seeing coda and uh what's his name shoji show up shoji. i'm like oh god <laughs> bro don't take me back bro please <laughs> please <laughs> but hey aside from that uh like i said i i I don't have any really strong particular feelings for this chapter, honestly. Bro, your uh, the boy Mineta is all posted up, ready to score. Mineta out. looked cool. I will say that Mineta looked cool. <laughs> I think yeah, it's I... funny that he's standing there. I think. Well, <laughs> here's the funny thing about Mineta, because Mineta deservedly gets a lot of hate. Yes. Yeah. It's deservedly. really funny when you put into perspective. There's that panel. I don't know if y'all remember this, where he did. I forget what he did, but he did some pervy shit like usual. And then, like, in the next panel, it's, like, a wide panel of, like, all the class, like, doing their thing, like, relaxing. And oh, stuff. right. And one yeah, of it tortured. is Mina, like, clockwork oranging him. 
like <laughs> strapping him to the chair, eyes wide open, looking at the TV. I want to make it known he has not done shit since then. Yeah, like he's not what? done a Damn. single perverted thing. That's true. <laughs> Never thought about it that way. Like Amen. that wor it worked. <laughs> <laughs> and you know, the next major thing that happened, people took like the the next thing that he said is just like, oh my god, he came out as bi. She fucking, <laughs> she transformed that man. <laughs> she actually like did irreversible damage to his psyche. Literally, I can fix him, but real. <laughs> <laughs> it, it worked. Yeah. <laughs> Damn. So, um, you know. Mina's is, the real is, hero. It's kind of funny. Uh, yeah, no, bro is stanced up. Oh, He's ready to go. He, yeah, you know, they're, they're all ready I will to say, that is, And I will say that fucking is actually impressive in its own right, because as you gotta know, oh, given how he is, he would really rather be literally anywhere else right now. But he still came because he wanted to help his friend, which yeah. I think is just cool. Mm -hmm. Like legitimate. Better Kusakabe. You um, know what? You're right. Yeah. Uh, I guess before <laughs> games like the main stuff, I will say I think I really like the Kurogiri stuff. Actually, um, I thought it was gonna be kind of rushed, but I did. I think it's a really cool way to resolve it where it's like it is just sort of working on the sort of teacher role of aizawa and like accepting the tragedy of what happened and you know they can't really undo it but they can make something work as a teacher and i don't mm. know that that's just it's a good way to resolve that it doesn't overstay its welcome i don't know what's going to happen to kuragiri after this whole thing um because, I mean, he's kind of fucked. That nigga is cooked, bro. It's over. Yeah. Yeah. So, but this is a, it, it's a good, it's good closure for um, Aizawa and Yamada. So, yeah, Damn. I like that. Uh, that That's good. Call I like, oh. Government name. Well, that's, I don't know. I was like, forgetting his name, and then I just happened to be on the panel where it was said, <laughs> and I'm like, all right, cool. True, ah, true. What so were you saying? Me. Um, fun thing, on page seven, there's a panel where this one uh, hero is like, same here, I'm kind of a nobody, but I'm still a hero, let me fight too. That is the exact design of the protagonist of another uh, series Horikoshi did. Yeah. Yeah. So, yeah I barrage. saw people were, uh, talking about it. They were just like, how dare he say he's a nobody? This nigga's powerful. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Well, no, the one I saw where people were pointing it out was just like, so you mean to tell me that all of the movie characters and the kid from fucking Barrage shows up, but not a single person from Vigilantes? That's so true, <laughs> actually. They were like, I where know, the right? fuck is Koichi? <laughs> you know what? Uh, oh, no, thank you. Someone said Yeah, no, that's true. That's, I think that's he's wrong. a fraud. I've yeah, never read no Vigilantes. You sound insane. <laughs> I think you it's like that I don't know if you see like those uh those uh new meme tweets where it's just like oh yeah I think he's terrible and then it's in quotations it's like I've never read the series <laughs> that's me I don't even know who they are that's genuinely me with vigilantes where I was like man that shit is ass I've never read it I don't know <laughs> vigilantes is a series that's really cool when it decides to be good uh, which is that when, all the time. <laughs> so is dad. that when like Knuckle Duster shows up? Yes, every time he is the coolest. <laughs> That's the only thing I get out of it. It's just like, well, He's Knuckle so Duster's in it. Cool. Um, there's there's another guy who's like a parody of like celebrity superheroes, where it's like his name is literally like Captain Celebrity or something like that, and he's pretty funny. But uh, yeah, those those two are the best characters <laughs> in that series. True. You know, we really could have used Captain Celebrity. Like, seriously, you know, Joe. That he's guy, actually he's genuinely powerful. <laughs> you know, like, no, I... the guy's basically he's Superman without all the superfluous powers. Eh, bro's probably retired by now. Let him be. Um, yeah, no, I. Yeah, the fact we don't we have. The, the fact we don't have the um, you know, the protagonist of Vigilantes is a little weird. After like, you know all these 
references and characters and everyone. That, that'd be such a cool thing, actually, because he's really cool. But, you know, I guess uh, Horiko just knows that if you brought him into the story, he'd just, you know, solve all the conflict, uh, conflict mm. and wipe the floor with all for one. I mean, that's just, you know, it's unfortunate, but that's how it is. But what can I what can mm. do? It um, would be cool to see him and, like, Deku teaming up. Like, copy yeah. Akutami, man. Do that shit. <laughs> well, the most disrespectful thing I've ever seen is when All for One was flying around, like, uh, mo so many chapters ago. Um, he's doing it in a way that kind of looked like Koichi's quirk. Oh, so the they slide. just thought he got off screened. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> the off screen hockey strikes again. No. Um, yeah. Well, it. Because he, whenever Koichi uses his quirk, it creates like rings of energy. Mm. So whenever oh, he would fly, right. there were like these rings of energy behind him. Uh -oh. So you know, people thought he just stole his quirk. <laughs> yeah, get cooked, buddy. Um, but yeah, that's uh, on actual chapter stuff. Uh, man, I some of these like villains that Horikoshi introduced go out so sad. <laughs> like, Bro, what do you mean? Because I remember when this war arc started, right? And we got like so many cool like designs and yeah. like fights that I was kind of hyped for. Like I remember that uh, that that guy that um, Aoyama was facing. Aoyama was gonna fight, and now this guy, this uh, this Gashley guy. I remember that like when the war started, people were kind of hyped for those just because the villains had cool designs. Oh yeah, and like. They wanted to see a fight. I wanted to see a fight. But it eventually got to the point where we're in the work where it's like, man, it'd be weird to get that fight now. Yeah. <laughs> um, and I don't know. That I've I I think that's been kind of like weirdly handled. But like whatever. It's it's whatever. Yeah. True, true. I like um I like the I, I'm brother. so conflicted neat. on the airy stuff. I was gonna ask how you feel. Yeah, about I was gonna that. ask, what do you think about that? Yeah. So one. Uh I genuinely kind of hate that it's being used after it was, like, set up not to work. Because there's literally a whole thing where it's like, look, Eric, you barely have any energy. Even if you go out there, it'd be pointless. And it's like, okay, cool. So Eric's not going to be a plot point. That's awesome. Glad to know. And it's like, yeah, she doesn't have a lot of energy, so... Um, she's got enough though. <laughs> got enough, she though. to do the most important thing. Yeah. It's like... I mean, hey, look. The fact is, the moment he lost his arms, we knew Aerie was going to have to come in. No, like, there, because there are like other there. ways. I, I literally suggested like other ways that could be that could be done for this. Mm. Shigaraki like, return cook? My, my biggest one was Shigaraki's return and just giving him the regeneration quirk. Or possibly unlocking the construction side of his quirk and saving Deku. There are uh, multiple uh, ways that this can be done in MHA. Um... Airy, and after Airy was basically set up to not be the solution, I'm, like, really annoyed that it is the solution. Mm -hmm. That, that like, I just think that kind of sucks. Um, I mean, Airy's, also Airy's quirk, the way it works, has always been really inconsistent. Because now it works on, like, suddenly it's, like, barely any energy. So it can probably rewind a few minutes of time. And, like... It's always been weird how rewind works with like, does it rewind based on the amount of time passed or the extent of change? Because when it's first demonstrated with, um, you know, Deku's 100 percent, he's damaging himself more to keep up with the rewind, showing that time isn't the factor. The extent of change is. But here, it's not the extent of change that's the factor. It's the amount of time passed. It's really inconsistent. Um, and that also annoys me. <laughs> so, uh, I, mean, I also just, I'm really weird. Uh, I, like, I don't know how to feel about the horn thing. Yeah, I don't know how to feel thing. about it either. It's, yeah. it you is mind. technically her choice. It is, at, and like... You know, at a point that is like you, you kind of like as a character, you kind of got to respect that, I guess. Like that is her choice to do that. 
it is so weird that her entire backstory is about being mutilated and then a teacher helps her mutilate herself. I was just about to say that, oh, Zenith. My. I'm so happy you brought that up. Like, I when I was reading it, uh, I was like, she cut off her horn and then Ectoplasm was like, hey, my fault, G. I was like, nigga, are you serious? Right? Like, what? And then what's even worse, responsible for <laughs> what's of my even heart, my worse bad, to me is that Ectoplasm was just like, well, shit, nigga, she learned it from you. Eat a dick. Bro, that's a child. Don't help her do that. Are you right. serious? Like, what? what's going on here, man? Like, again, I can respect Aerie for, like, all right, I want to help out in any way that I can. And I guess that can go into the whole thing of, you know, like, everybody doing their part. But it still just doesn't sit right with me when, like, a literal child is just like, all right, I'm going to mutilate myself and that's going to help everybody. Like, man, fuck, dude. That just doesn't sit right with me. It's so weird. And like, I don't know, because it's like there's two ways to look at it. I feel with like she is essentially kind of giving up her quirk because her quirk has nothing to do with her dream. I actually really like that. This is a very small plot point where there's a moment in a flashback where it's like just Deku looking at her like, oh, my God, you have a dream, too. That's awesome. But we're not told what the dream is. But in that panel, Jiro is there uh, kind of like blushing. Mm -hmm. So, like, that's cool little foreshadowing that her dream was to be a singer like Jiro because that, like, inspired her and gave yeah, her happiness. That saved like, her. Yeah, that's a really nice wrap up to that plot point that's kind of messy because of this whole thing <laughs> <laughs> yeah literally and uh fucking metaphorically yeah no it's i don't know it, it just felt weird to like because the first thing i thought of was like deku hurting himself with one for all and i was like i feel like that's different but still i don't <laughs> like I said, I, I don't like the idea of Aerie just being like, yeah, time to rip this off. <laughs> like, oh, I think, man. I think it's specifically meant to parallel when um, Aizawa cut off his leg. Yeah, that's he, why he said, uh, like, she learned it from yeah, you. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. And, like, I don't know, it's, one, it's one of those moments where I get the themes, all the ideas going on here, and I can appreciate them. Man, it's just weird yeah it's just strange yeah it's literally it's a horn it's the animal equivalent of hair or nails it's not though <laughs> it, it's very it's very much not uh airy was 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 bleeding after she got her horn cut off it's not the same but Hey, bro! If you're get if you're like bleeding after a haircut, you gotta. Talk That's what to I'm someone. saying. Yeah, <laughs> if you're bleeding after cutting your nails, you may want to ease up on them. You're going uh, too deep. Man. Yeah, uh, like, bring <laughs> it back a little. Bring it back. Yeah. Um. So I wanted to ask with this, and this is a question for chat too. Uh, now that we know that Ari is bringing back Deku's arms, uh, I know, as you brought up earlier, Zenith, it was a big thing in the community where Shigaraki would... The theory was that Shigaraki was going to heal Deku. Uh, so now that that's not the case, are you starting to turn into doomers about Shigaraki's return? Or, like, oh, his impact not. on the story? Fuck. Fuck no. No, he's still gonna do shit. He... I thought him saving Deku would be, like his ultimate rebellion against all for one and that could be really cool um as like a thing to happen but there are other ways for him to you know rebel it can be a lot more direct um maybe he'll just kill himself Whoa. That <laughs> Yeah, maybe, Whoa. Yeah, that, that would really foil all for one's plan. Whoa! <laughs> I mean, that is a big middle finger to him. That was. Um, hey, yeah. man. Yeah, just took the words right out of my mouth. Hey, man. So, yeah, if you're in a bad situation, kill yourself. It, you get out of it. It doesn't <laughs> change yeah, okay, anything. Just... It doesn't really change anything because ultimately, ultimately. It doesn't change the fact that whatever Shigaraki does, it will be the most important, most meaningful choice he's ever made. One of those choices being off the table doesn't really change that. Um, but yeah. 
I mean, he's going to break free. He head. is. <laughs> he is going to break free. Oh, shit, bro. <laughs> Maybe he'll kill himself. <laughs> <laughs> like it was one of those things oh where it like just occurred God. to me. It's like, yeah, maybe he'll just do that. Maybe he'll just <laughs> kill himself, man. Well, I was thinking like maybe he'll like mentally decay all for one. Maybe he'll just decay himself. No, wait, no more decay. I forgot yeah, about that. Yeah, there's no Damn. more decay. Unfortunately. No more decay. Yeah. Yeah. Eh, good riddance. It was, you know. All right. Like, <laughs> <laughs> I think. You can get, uh, look, I like Decay, like, thematically and story-wise. It's one of my favorite It is quirks. hard to write a fight around it. Nah, man. I mean, we were doing a pretty good job until All for Bum showed up. Yeah. Just fight him in the air. That was pretty cool. <laughs> that was cool. That was cool. I, I ain't gonna lie. Um, I just realized I'm kind of sad that most of Deku and Shigaraki got off screen now. Kind of sad about that. I know. Yeah. That... I'm kind of sad about that. I'm not gonna lie. Because at first, I was like, it's fine. Obviously, like, all the important stuff is going to be shown to us. And then, like, we got, like, two chapters of it. And then we went into the world, which was still cool. Uh, and then we're just not anymore. So I was like, oh, okay. We got a lot more vestige time than I thought we would, for sure. Um, yeah. Um, I think, because it's like, we did get all the important stuff. It's a lot of... But again, a lot of it is Deku trying to like counter and get around Decay because, like I said, Decay is a really hard ability to write a fight around. <laughs> um, which I, I mean, good job for what he was working with there. <laughs> I guess he, wrote, I mean, that doesn't put him off the hook. He wrote Decay into the story. Um, mm -hmm. he kind of had to deal with it. Uh, I guess, like, just for this fight, though, like, it's kind of good all for one doesn't have it, just story-wise, because that would yeah. be... I mean, they lose. They all lose. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It's over. Say, it's yeah. Like, all for one's still there. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, it um, is literally we over. We fucking annihilate all of them. Yeah, because you can't it. counter with the other quirks now. We got this, you know, we've got everyone coming in to fight all for one. I think it's going to be a struggle. Uh, they're not going to be winning, but, like, all for one should be significantly weakened right now, so it's not going to be like a stomp. Mm -hmm. uh, like he's not going to just kill them all, <laughs> obviously. Yeah. Um, and then Shigaraki's going to do his thing because he's going to do his thing. He's going to do his. I mean, like, I, I mean, I, I see you, Wary XL. It's not an ass pull if he somehow breaks free. Like he's, he did it the first time. Like, true. <laughs> Like, he's going to do it again, and it's going to be a really meaningful point, too, because he's going to do it on his own terms. Not on a story that was given to him, but on his own vindication and beliefs. And it's going to be really cool, I think. Uh, we'll see. And then whatever happens there happens. I don't know how Shigaraki's going to make his final rebellion, how that's going to result. I think... The thing with this arc, with the, the war arc of MHA, is I think grand majority of things have had a good conclusion. Like, all of the plot points I was really invested in ended solidly. I cannot deny that there were some messy chapters getting there. I love <laughs> Bakugo stuff. Oh, yeah. I mean, I've talked in length about how it's a mess of a plot point. Yeah. But... It ends really good. And I think it's the same thing here. It's going to have a good ending. It just... I don't know if Horikoshi always knows how to get there. Yeah. So, yeah. Yeah. We shall see. We shall. We shall. See. We shall. Uh, I'm, I'm looking forward to... Hit... <sighs> He, I mean, no, his mind is not. He literally had to clamp his own mouth to silence Shigaraki. Yeah. Like, he's not gone. He claims he's gone, but he has done that before. He did not expect Shigaraki to come back the first time. <laughs> Once again, he lied. <laughs> he con That is the thing about All for One, is he is a great manipulator, but at the end of the day, he plays on people's weaknesses and constantly underestimates their strengths. Because he's a bitch. Ha 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 ha. Um, and that will be him because yeah. he 
He completely played on Shigaraki's weaknesses set up for this moment, but he will not be ready for the strength that was also developed in that time. Well, however that may transpire, who knows? We'll, we'll see. True. Like, um... I mean, just taking off one's word for it, it's like, all right, man, you know, like, come on, come on, come on, come on. Anyway, uh, anyone have anything yeah, to say on the chapter? Out before like you know because i I, <clears throat> I don't know I, i'm getting the feeling we're kind of nearing the end of mha talk you yeah think, uh, the um, rest of class a is gonna I think show we up cover all the oh yeah big time. We... okay what are you saying silver oh um well i was gonna say i think we covered all bases but uh, and like the question in is is now so uh the other heroes are going to take this time to cover for deku while he recovers here and gets his arms back. So do you think Deku is still going to have one final move to play and bring Shigaraki back to the surface? I mean, probably. It's their dynamic at the end of the day. Um, hmm. However that is, whether it's a character moment or an action moment, like, I mean, you know, it's hard to say. But, yeah, I mean, I, I don't think he's out of the story. Mm. Fair enough. I'm okay, interested then, yeah, to I see... Think how AFO in particular came back because they made like Deku talked about it like I thought he was completely gone so like how come he's back now so I'm interested mm -hmm. to see like well, how exactly that is the case well I mean that I, I told you before I mean that's the thing about cockroaches they're very hard to kill it's just <laughs> common knowledge <laughs> that's very true yeah, this is so true um but yeah I uh I, I, I'm all good on MAJ. Like I said, I didn't have much to say this week. Overall, it was a fine chapter. Okay, man, where that was just a thing I was throwing out there, man. Like, it was just a, a thing. I don't know, man. Quirk science is a nebulous thing. Like, <laughs> Quirk science you're interrogating the points too much here, man. Like, it's just, I was just throwing ideas out there. Like, I, it's better than Airy, man. <laughs> like, <laughs> All right, let me look through some of these uh, comments, and then we can move on to the next part. Let me see. Uh, let me yeah. see. Let me see. <laughs> Everyone hates me, Netta. True. Uh, <laughs> oh, real. Uh, let me see. Um, <laughs> MHA being mid as fuck every single week. Could have never predicted that. Can we just finish the series, Hori? Damn. True hater. Weary exile. Leaving up to the main. Uh, let me see. Thank you, Kaneki, by the way. Finally getting back around to it, to the $5 donation. Mina hit him with the only you conditioning from Far Cry 5. The classical conditioning went crazy on Mina. <laughs> <laughs> hey, man, like you said, change that dude's life. For better or for worse? I don't know. We'll have to wait and see. Uh, let me see some more of these. <laughs> They gave Sly nigga the same treatment Smash gave Waluigi. <laughs> <laughs> oh, fuck. Hey, man, that's crazy. Uh, let me see. Zero saying, since last week's stream, I found that JJK doesn't have enough antagonists. Also, Sukuna was a cooler slash better villain when he was weaker and had more my uh, mystery to him, which is crazy. Yeah, I I agree. I've had a whole thing. Uh, I think I've mentioned it on a podcast before, but to put it in Twitter terms, Sukuna lost his aura, which by itself isn't like a bad thing just because of how the story progressed. But it's how the story progressed that I think is not so great. But we can talk about that another time. I'm sure we will. I'm. Hey, I'm hoping not next week, though, my boy. <laughs> she, my boy, EG finna go crazy. Oh, my God. Uh, let me see. Uh, hmm, let me see. Hmm. <laughs> Flame reacted to It's like maybe Shigaraki will kill himself. She's like, damn, what? <laughs> <laughs> The spirit of low tier god got into his head, bro. I I feel that. I feel it. Uh, let me see. Shiggy should learn from bum <laughs> from bum gumi, or nah. That vegetable couldn't even finish himself. That's how much of a bum he is. Mm. Oh, listen, <laughs> Megami. Listen, 
You don't want to see Megumi when he locks in. He's going to have, what, like three shadows? Uh, severe brain damage. You don't want to see him when he locks in, bro. Trust, trust. Uh, let me see some more. <laughs> bro said, my bad, Chief. I guess it was our <laughs> Boku no Pico all along. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I think you're cooking there, Rui Exile. That was, that was very nice. Uh, but anyway, let's move on to our next section of the podcast. Chainsaw Man Chapter 162. Fellas, how are we feeling about this one? It was a good chapter. Oh, yeah. I got to see more of Quan Chi. Yeah, I did not have the chapter. Uh, Quan Chi, a certified baddie. So Quan Chi pulled up, and uh, the Nobara devil was just like, nah, bro, I'm not trying to fight you. Psych, bitch. And then, you know, (laughs) tried to fight her, didn't get catch her off guard, started going crazy, Mm -hmm. and then so on and so forth. Yeah, I'm Quan Chi doing Quan Chi things. God, she's so fucking bad, bro. God, I need her. God, I need her, bro. (laughs) God, she's so cool. That one page. Let me find that job, bro. That one page where uh, she's just looking down on him. It's page seven. Oh, my God, bro. Oh, my God, bro. She's so pretty. Holy shit. Um, <laughs> but I, uh, <laughs> I love how, uh, the, the cheating safety man just got completely <laughs> fucked up. Bro, listen, <laughs> it's a good thing. His, uh, I guess his ex-wife cut him off because bro was about to say a slur, bro. He was loading yeah. that shit up. He said, yeah, women was... are... <laughs> oh, women <shit>. derogatory. <laughs> <laughs> yes, I was actually about to bring that up. So what do you guys I believe he was about to say? Hey, just throw it out. I, I mean, well, I'm not saying shit. I don't fucking set know. niggas up to that. die. That, that, is, that is entrapment and is illegal. <laughs> damn, damn! I feel like he was gonna say was women cool. should be three steps behind a man. To quote Naoya, and isn't it ironic? He got stabbed in the back, just like Naoya. Hell yeah! <laughs> there you go. Yeah, see, it all comes back around full circle. Yeah, no, I, I don't know. It, it, it must have been something much more crazy. He had to be cut off, bro. He had to be. The plot had he to. He had end to in. like ready that. You know, he had to prep for what he was gonna say. <laughs> bro did a quick time event to load that one up, it was one of those things where it's just like i'm about to say what no one else is about to say and it's just like oh no oh no <laughs> you think this guy and now you are friends on facebook they sure. have to be they have yeah. to be yeah why not <laughs> yeah man that was about to go crazy but he got stabbed Silver. in the back um it wasn't... i know i i know you're old so do you still use facebook Okay. No. <laughs> <laughs> Never. Who would do Never. that? Um, I, I want to talk Ancient. about the one thing. Uh, well, first off, I want to say these doctors are fucking hilarious. They're having this <laughs> yeah. whole conversation. They're just like, hey, nigga, we did not see shit. <laughs> Bro, the, the, y'all the got it. The mask was covering my eyes. I don't know what you're talking about. Yeah, it's like, hey, man, y'all got it. Do what y'all want to do, man. They're fucking hilarious. I love them. But I wanted to talk about the next page with Quan Chi going, uh, Chainsaw Man is weaker, but he's mo- uh, he's far more fearsome than me. Do you guys think that just means, like, because obviously Denji, uh, he fights super fucking crazy. Is that what yeah. she was talking about? Or do you guys think it could potentially be something else? Well, I, okay. I think a, a big oh. part of this is she specifically said an old friend warned me to mm-hmm. never make an enemy out of this one. Which is Kishibe, right? Like, it has to be, right? Yeah, I feel like it Which has right? to be. First Kishibe mention in part two. Let's go. <laughs> Not even a solid name drop, baby. Let's go. <laughs> um... Which, like, here's the thing, man. If I'm Kishibe, and I see this man beat Makima, <laughs> I'm not messing with him. I ain't him, fucking man. with him, yeah. <laughs> because true. that is insane. Bro, <laughs> imagine, like, we're never shown this conversation, but imagine Denji bringing up his plan to him. 
Like he's like, what the fuck? Yeah, the, like, he was insane. Yeah, he's like, what, what are you eating her? Insane. You're not gonna win. Dead G two weeks later, so I won. <laughs> <laughs> I think Kishimura even like says he's like that plan was fucking insane. It only works because you're you. <laughs> it yeah. only works because you are who you are. Yeah, no. If I was Kishibe, especially because Kishibe pulled up with a whole fucking task force mob, pull mm-hmm. up, take down Makima. Well, shit, that didn't work. <laughs> I remember Fuck. for that job, yeah. you got to be crazy. Therefore, Denji's the most insane motherfucker on the planet. <laughs> it was literally yeah, no, the, the squad. The squad pulled up and they said, "Mods, send this dude to hell." It's <laughs> 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 like, oh fuck, and that still didn't work. <laughs> Bro, this is ridiculous. Hell no. If I was Kishibe, a. Hey. Both hands in the air, you got it, bro. <laughs> I'm not mm-hmm. beefing with you. You're good. Yeah, not a big, big time. Um, yeah, I, I just, I mean, I wouldn't mess with him. I, in fact, I would tell the people, hey, don't, don't mess with him. Don't, don't do that. Yeah, he's insane. Yeah, he's fucking insane. Yeah. Um, so I'm, um, man. Because I was thinking, I was like, is it just because he fights crazy or is there some more shit? Because obviously, I, I'm sure there's more stuff we can learn about Chainsaw Man. Uh, so I'm excited to see where this could lead to. Uh, I'm excited to see what happens next, honestly. Do, like, Denji yeah. comes back? Do they, like, they just walk on out of there? Are they going to fight some more? What's, like, Yoru's reaction going to be to Denji? Like, this is uh, pretty much what we've been waiting for for all of or most of part two. And now that I think about it, so it's going to be very interesting to see where this actually goes now. Figure out what the fuck it means, like, beating Chainsaw Man is saving him. Like, what do you mean by that? <laughs> like, I'm hoping we get some more explanation on that now, too. I'm hoping it's just a big old lore chapter. Just sit me down, explain all that shit. Because so far in part two, whenever they've done that, peak chapter. Love it. So <laughs> I'm hoping that happens again in this uh, this next one. <clears throat> but yeah, overall, just uh, a, a really good chapter. Um, Quan Chi just bowing out. He's like, hey, man, I'm gone. <laughs> I'm good. Yeah. Just leave me be. I respect that. Quan Chi still got hoes <laughs> on deck. I love that for her. Awesome. Um, but yeah, this is just a yeah. good chapter. It's a fun chapter. Is there anything else you guys want to say before we move on? Uh, no, no. no. Oh, oh, pure, pure shame. Katana Man couldn't even get one hit in. He just oh died. no! Yeah, he was. He, <laughs> that matchup you, was that's decided. The strongest attack too. Yeah, that matchup was decided when she walked in the fucking room. They did not need to cross swords <laughs> at all. <laughs> yeah, it was over. <laughs> Quad she fucking threw her dick on the table and you just gotta He'll be fine. Okay. <laughs> hey man. She's just gonna she's just doing what she does. Just let her leave. Let her leave, bro. Okay. Uh but yeah, good oh. chapter. Good chapter. Uh all right, fellas. Moving on to the last chapter of this week. Kagarabachi chapter twenty nine. How are you feeling about this one? Dude, the spreads on this chapter went fucking insane. It was so it. fucking peak, bro. Holy fuck. It's peak. <laughs> <laughs> bro, <laughs> I uh, I was reading it while make, uh, making the thumbnail this morning, and uh, that one thing is like, oh, they're, they're going to murder each other, and it's just the two pages of them, like, cutting through people, and then the spread of them meeting. Oh my oh, god, so cool. bro! I literally stood up from my seat. I said, "Holy fuck, <laughs> this is so good, dude! So good. <laughs> this is so fucking good. Oh, I the love the art." The... Oh, go ahead. Yeah, no, they're literally just mowing through each other, or then it's just like we need to talk. They have their talk, and then and the chapter ends with the same spread of them going their separate ways. Insane. Yeah, like, together that was fucking sick. God, dude, I that's got to be the most shit. like insane thing to see as like a thug in that room. Like, <laughs> oh, they yeah. just mowed down like fifteen people, disappear, and it's like, 
is it over? And then they pop out of thin fucking air and mow down another 15 dudes like nothing. <laughs> yeah, man. Like, I was just thinking about that. That is the craziest jump scare you'll ever see. Like, <laughs> imagine, like, you're just standing around. It's like, a hero I... jump scare. Yeah, bro, not even that. Yuki, like, you're just standing there like, oh, okay. All of a sudden... A flame bone from hell just like grabs you by your scruff mm -hmm. and you burn alive. <laughs> it's like, what is happening, oh, bro? <laughs> this is insane. But yeah, um, I I love the spreads. Some of my favorites in all of Kagurabachi. I just love just the style in this manga is so insane. Um, but I I love the the conversation between Shihiro and Hiyuki. Um, I love specifically the moment, uh, where he's like, Hey, I know that you're not heartless. So I'm going to try to like play on your emotions. Um, and you have Hiyuki, like, we're going to buy the Shinuchi. Like, that's just what we're doing. And, uh, Chihiro's like, you're just going to leave all these people here. And it has like a panel of her, like digging her foot in the ground, which showcases her like literally being stubborn about this, but also like her frustration, which boils over later in the chapter where she's like, fuck it, everyone dies. I don't care what's going on. <laughs> everyone is getting killed. <laughs> like, I don't want to think about this shit no more, man. This is hurting my brain. I'm just going to murder people. I, I love how uh, Kagurabachi just displays simple conversations between characters, mm -hmm. whether it's like this or the uh, the final moments between Chihiro and Sojo. Just the like way that, that they illustrate conversations and how dynamic they can be. It, it, like, even the, uh, the one with... Uh, I keep forgetting the fucking auctioner's name. The head of the Sazanami. Uh, is it like Kyora or something like that? I don't remember. I need to remember his name at some point. But uh, whenever him and Chihiro are talking, and then they get teleported into the storehouse, and the Shinuchi's right behind him, and like how that continues to go on. And then you see the storehouse expand. You see all the more people. Just the way that they frame conversations, just simple dialogue is so fucking cool, man. Like it doesn't feel like a chore to read through all this stuff whenever it's just people talking. It's awesome. Just the style, man. It's really good. Mm -hmm. Let me I'm look trying to find this fucker's name. <laughs> I think it's like Kyora or something. I, I think. I, I think it oh, appears in like chapter like twenty two. Let me see. Actually, I have my computer right in front of me. Let me pull this up. Uh, this is twenty nine. This is the most recent one. Let me see. Twenty two. Uh um, that's when he's first introduced. I like the chapter. <laughs> <laughs> Hot take, I know. Yeah, Very hot take. Hot take. <laughs> no, um, I like Hagarabachi. It's pretty neat and stuff like that. Um, I would never have guessed. <laughs> I'm interested to see uh, what the Kamunabi and the Sazanami do now. Because we saw them like planning. They have a bidding team in there already. Yeah. I know the way that uh, Chihiro described it is like, how much longer do you think he has for, uh, for Cloud Gouger and stuff before... It's no longer going to be used. Mm. Mm. I don't know. I, I feel like it's going to be like, knowing Kagurabachi, it's going to be like a big thing. Just like 0 0.1 seconds before Cloud Gouger runs out or something. <laughs> then he's going to get to N10. It's going to be like a good throws spread. It at someone. <laughs> yeah, man. I mean, shit. He's been putting in work with that blade so far, man. So I... Even if it leads to, like, one big final move at the end, I would love to see that shit. God. But, yeah, Kagurabachi, extremely good, man. Holy shit. I loved this chapter. This is one of my favorites in the series so far. Um, I'm really excited to see what happens at the end because even in this chapter, uh, Hiyuki and Jiro, they're not, like, on the same team. Like, you have the... Mm -hmm. uh, the dude with the barrier, he's just like, hey, listen, uh, if you get the blades and then we kill you afterwards, 
Shit, my nigga, that's a good day at the office for me. <laughs> <laughs> just, <laughs> just boss is gonna be happy about this. <laughs> the hoes gonna love this one, Chihiro. I'm just being honest. <laughs> so, uh, like Chihiro's even sweating. He's like, "Oh, gee, thanks, man, appreciate it." So, <laughs> hey, I'm excited to see what happens. I mean, maybe we get a rematch between these two. Maybe we get a rematch, or or just like a battle royale. With like Chihiro Hiyuki, the Kamunabi, the Sazanami, because that was another big thing that was hyped up in this event. Like if the Kamunami and the uh, the Kabunami and the uh, Sazanami they go at each other, there's gonna be some uh, losses on both sides. So I feel like a conflict is already being brewed up between those two. Plus their names are so fucking similar. One of them has to get mm-hmm. killed off. So <laughs> one of them has to die so. for our convenience. Yeah, really. for our convenience. <laughs> Hey, some of you are going to die, and that is a sacrifice I am willing to live with. <laughs> hey, man. Um, we gotta but, clear the board a little. Yeah, man. We have enough man. confusing names as is. Yeah. yeah uh, it is right. Kyora. It's Kyora yeah, Sazanami. Kyura. Let's go, man. I'm like that shit. Um, but yeah, man. This chapter was so fun fucking good i i I have not been this hype reading a chapter in actually that's a lie it was jjk last week so in about a week but it was was very good (laughs) i i was very excited man i was i was very fucking excited reading this chapter uh let me look through some of these chats here uh first off shout out wet napkin donating to five uh saying i've been convinced i need a dog shit romance between chihiro and yuki (laughs) (laughs) <laughs> hey man hey man i get it brother i understand bro Damn. hot take i would like a good one <laughs> mm. nah, nah, man. i think that would be nice nah man it's gotta be nah, it's, it's nah. gotta be bad because that's what makes it good you gotta be the most shit. horrendous shit you've ever read yeah man that's what makes it good type shit like these fuckers do not, not know what they're doing <laughs> <laughs> Kagurabachi feels like Shonen John Wick and it's a blast. It's so good. It's so fucking good. I just good. always imagine Batman, especially the Same. way that Shihiro always Same. pulls up to people. Yeah. Like, just in the fucking dark and they're like, yeah, it's a good, it's a good, nice day, cool summer, spring day, and then, like, his friends get, like, fucking killed off screen. It's just like, oh, god damn it. <laughs> Bro, and again, like, it's so cool. Like, uh, the panels where everyone's are those like henchmen they're just like yeah it's a cool day and then you just see like the black fish swim through the frame you're like oh fuck <laughs> my favorite will always be like it's like the three guys sitting at the table or whatever and you just see to hero like in the background or just standing away in a panel and then the next time he shows up he's just sitting at the table yeah yeah that one was really good i really like the one in chapter one too where uh <clears throat> so what happens if i'm remembering this correctly is uh it's three guys sitting at a table uh they're just shooting the shit like yeah no one's gonna pull up to this warehouse all of a sudden chihiro short sword flies from off panel hits a nigga in the chest the other two are <laughs> like wait what chihiro drops on the table slices their heads off i was like oh my god <laughs> Bro, that shit is so crazy. My man's going nuts. Mm-hmm. I love that shit, man. Inject it into my veins. Fuck. Uh, let me see. Uh, I also love the fact that the sumo guy kidnapped someone so they could leave the domain expansion without fighting. Yes, that's another good point I forgot that's to okay. mention. I like that. Yeah, that's really yeah cool. I really like that. Thank you for bringing that up. I totally forgot to mention that. It was nice, especially at the end where he's just like, all right, run. And then he knocks him out and then they keep going. Oh, dude. Shit is so, so good. Cool. Uh, let so- me see. Fandom already loves their bidding team girl. I dub her Kagurabachi Kobeni. (laughs) (laughs) Damn. (laughs) Oh, no. Damn, she won everyone over that quickly. Amen. Amen. Respect to the bidding team girl. I need a loser in this series. They're my favorite. (laughs) (laughs) Damn. And her buddy Kagurabachi Toji. Kagurabachi, but what if Toji was there? Oh, what if Toji was there? <laughs> <laughs> oh, shit. Yo, Toji and Kagurabachi, that actually goes 
dummy, bro. That goes so fucking crazy. Holy that shit. Would be sick. That would be so cool. <laughs> uh let me keep looking through the Actually fuck it, let's make it happen. Yeah, right. Let's make a let's make a petition. We need to gather the dragon balls and summon Toji back in Kagurabashi. <laughs> uh let me look through the rest of these. Chihiro gonna riz Hiyuki up. I can already see the Sundere service. Hope somebody gets this reference. Uh I don't, but for your sake I will. Ha ha. Um Yeah. Yeah, that was that was a good one. I like that one. Uh, honestly, yeah. I need some English localization for those names because they're too similar and difficult to remember by now. I only remember them because they sound so similar. Honestly, <laughs> the Kabunam, uh, the Kamunabi, and then the Sazanami. I only remember them just because they rhyme. Uh, I like how Tafoku, the sumo guy. Thank you for bringing up his name because I totally forgot. Uh, was like, I... hey, I don't mind you working with us if you let <laughs> Yuki kill you afterwards. It's cool with me. <laughs> <laughs> hey, man. He's just here so he don't get fined for real. I respect it. Uh, Zero saying Zenith will one day be the strongest anti-tuber of today. He has the potential to rival Gojo. Mm, Zenith, how do you feel about that? I mean, you know what? <clears throat> I could beat a dead guy. Mm, true. I can do it. Yeah. <laughs> Sailor will forever be the king of fraudulent hosts. I'm glad I'm the king of something, I guess. Yeah. <laughs> oh, that was a Monogatari reference. I haven't watched Monogatari in forever, dude. Holy fuck. Yeah, I totally wouldn't have recognized that one. Shouts out. Uh Senjo Gahara probably said some shit like that. Shouts out Senjo Gahara. Um <laughs> My washed goats didn't watch Monogatari. Damn, now hold on now. <laughs> now wait a minute. Wait a minute. Now hold on, Weary Exile. Who's who's your, who's your best girl in there? Is it Senjo Gahara or is it the right answer in Subaki? You have to let me know. You have to let me know. Um but <laughs> I'm glad I'm back. Thank you. Thank you, Weary Exile. Um But yeah, this this chapter was really good, man. I, I like Kagurabachi a lot. It's, it's, I'm so fucking hype. I wish we got chapters sooner, man. This is easily one know, of my right? favorite like, I series going on. Like, the moment so I wake fun. up, so I can't fully enjoy it. Yeah, man. <laughs> I, I really wish we got more chat or not. Well, obviously more chapters, but just chapters faster. Damn, man. But hey, that's what it is, man. Gotta wait, gotta wait. But anyway um fellas is there anything else you would like to say to the people before we uh get the fuck up out of here <laughs> quality takes um, time to know what do we have True. next week uh jjk oh, yeah. kagurabachi uh i know mha is on break is chainsaw man on break i don't No, chainsaw man is on break yeah so it's just those oh. two oh, oh, okay oh wow do we get one piece again <laughs> I don't know. I don't remember when One Piece is coming back. I think like it actually does weeks? come back. It's either yeah. next week or the next one. You know. I know it mean? does. Okay. Okay. Yeah, I, I checked it out. So next week we are getting a Jujutsu Kaisen and One Piece comes back, and of course Kagurabachi. So it'll be cool. Okay. Seven, three. All right, cool. Yeah, that'll be a fun one. One Piece should be back oh, yeah. next week. True, 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 true. All right, cool. So with that all being said. <laughs> Thank you guys once again for joining us. Let us know down below what your favorite chapter of the week was. Doesn't have to be anything we talked about here on the podcast. It could be Blue Lock, Blue Box, Kill Blue, Grand Blue, Blue Beetle, Blue Exorcist, Blue Period. The whole green, nine. Green, man. green, green. We will kill you if you say green, green, greens. <laughs> uh, please don't listen to silver. Totally different color. Like... Yeah, that's a totally different color. And... Uh, I think we're just going to break your legs if you say that. Uh, oh, sailor, I didn't realize you were so... I didn't think you saw color that way. I I don't. I only see blue. But uh, anyway, uh, <laughs> with that all being said, we're getting the fuck up out of here. Goodbye. And good night.